this video I will explain how a rotary dial works from an electrical point of view. There are two switches on the dial. A switch that's normally closed and a switch that is normally open. So when the dial is in its relaxed position, the blue and green or the two blue wires, depending on the age of the dial and who manufactured it, will have a switch that's normally closed. And I would demonstrate that with my test tone here, as soon as I turn it on. In this case, this is a number seven Western electric dial, and I have a shorted circuit. When you rotate the dial, nothing has happened on the blue and green, or the two blues, but now you have shorted the white wires, which is connected to the receiver. So I'll do this here. So right now there's no continuity because the dial is in the home position. The moment I go off hook, I have a continuous short. All this is doing is muting the receiver element so that you do not hear a loud pop in your ear. If you remove one of these two wires off of the network, and dial, you will hear a very loud pop in your ear. That's why they muted it so that you would not be uh, ear damage, hearing damage, and so forth. So back to the blue and the green. At this point, I will have continuity. And when I dial a one, it will have opened the phone line for one pulse. I would dial a zero, and you can hear in the background what's happening. So when you're placing a telephone call from a rotary dial telephone, and you dial a number, you're turning the telephone on and off, essentially. And you're doing it for however many digits you dial. So if you dial a digit zero, you've opened and closed the phone line through the network, 10 times. If you dial to 5, you've opened and closed it 5 times. This is a demonstration of how simple a dial is. So if the contacts on the back of the dial, and I will use a number 9 type dial, here's a number 9 dial. Again, I have a blue and green and two whites. Same exact concept. This is a switch to short the receiver. This is the switch to open and close the phone line. As and we'll remove the cover here so you can actually see it. Possibly. Okay, I have a different dial without a cover. We'll use that. Um, as you can see in the contacts, this has got six wires. This is just another shorting contact for a speakerphone. As the dial is rotated here, I will operate it ten times, and you will notice that this set of contacts will open and close. Right now they're closed, and hopefully my camera will catch this. And I will do that with another digit. This is how you're signaling the number to the telephone company. The two white wires is a set of contacts that short when the dial goes off normal and remains shorted until the dial returns to its home position. So this is a Western Electric number 9 dial that is got a speakerphone, extra two wires with a speakerphone, which you would normally not find in a residential phone. Here is a dial made by Stromberg Carlson, and it is the same package. And again, um, two white wires and the pulsing contact leads. And then here's an earlier number seven dial. And it functions the same, except it's just a different design. It's an earlier design. 
pretty much all rotary dials, regardless of the manufacturer and the age of the telephone, performs the same function as in opening and closing the loop inside the telephone and muting the receiver. In the early series dials of the Western phones that I'm familiar with, they had a, a condition because of the 101 induction coil or the other types of induction coils that they used a common lead on the opening and closing of the line and the muting of the receiver unit. Uh, I will not go into detail on how those work. They're slightly more complicated, but the results are the same.